Hello and welcome to Indian Drives. My name is Yash and in this video, I'll explain to you in layman terms what is ABS. How does it work? How does it save your life every day? And answer the most important question. Would breaking be the same today without the ABS? And before we begin with the Gyan, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, do consider subscribing to us so you do not miss out on such intellectual automotive Gyan. To explain to you the function of ABS most easily, imagine you were running at your maximum pace and you were to stop suddenly by applying equal stopping force on both your feet. I bet you cannot imagine a scenario where you don't end up in a hospital with a broken leg. We distribute the stopping force between our feet to slow down gradually without falling over. Cars are pretty much the same when it comes to braking. Engineered primarily for aeroplanes and railways in 1950, the ABS made its way later in 1970s in our cars. Mario Palazzetti from the Fiat Research Center, known as the Mr. ABS, had invented the anti-lock braking system in 1971. But it was Mercedes-Benz that developed the complex braking assist system and launched the first car in the world in 1978 with ABS the W116 Mercedes-Benz S-Class. And since then, automotive brands started developing their own ABS system to offer a safer and better driving experience. Now, if you were to brake in a car without ABS, all the four wheels would receive equal amount of braking force, which locks up the wheel, resulting in less traction and loss of control over the steering wheel to steer your car. And once the wheels do lock up, you lose complete control over the steering wheel and fail to bring the car back into a safe and straight driving line. The situation gets worse when you are driving on a wet or an uneven road condition. The chances of your vehicle losing control gets very high. So how does the ABS work? Well, the ABS works with the help of speed sensors, a valve, a hydraulic pump and a controller module. When brakes are applied, the control module senses the speed and level of traction on all four wheels of the car and it regulates the distributional braking force each millisecond to ensure that the wheels do not lock up. This distributional braking force ensures that your vehicle comes to a halt in the shortest duration and length possible without losing the control over the car. So if we were to simplify this entire function of ABS, one simple sentence to make you understand the function of ABS is the ABS system allows you to control the car through your steering while applying the brakes. Whereas without the ABS function, when you apply the brakes, the wheels lock up and hence you cannot control the steering wheel at all. And in some cases, the vehicles can spin or lose control. ABS saves us and others life every day without even us noticing it. Our driving speed and the braking situation does not even matter here. ABS works every time we decide to slow down our car. Gaumata suddenly appearing on our roads, uncivilized two and four wheeler drivers swerving into our lane suddenly, you name the situation, ABS is there working every time to keep you and your family safe from any accident. So the next time when you thank your religious idols placed on the dashboard of your car, do thank your car's safety feature as well because cars do have emotions, don't they? Now coming to the main question, will braking be the same today without the ABS? Racing drivers in early 1900s used to pump the brake repeatedly on and off to regulate the brake pressure. This technique later on invented the ABS system. So it is safe to say that most of the drivers today on road are not racing drivers and neither are the public roads any racing track. So definitely we cannot imagine a day without ABS. We heavily rely on these safety features subconsciously and unknowingly. So without the use of these safety features, the number of accidents on road will increase significantly. So with your next car purchase, do upgrade to a variant which offers you extra safety features than the lower variant and do not hesitate to pay the premium amount as you will get the returns on investment when those safety features will keep you and your family safe from any horrific accident. So if you like this automotive intellectual gyan, do like this video and share this with your friends who are equally an automotive nerd like you. And if you have not subscribed to the channel already, I'll say it again. Please subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on such automotive intellectual gyan that comes to you every week.